I just want to thank you for all the subscribers. So without all the wait, let's get started. So we are going to be making a simple obby in this video, then after that we'll be making the kill block and the checkpoint. Okay, so let's so get first, started. We are going to place a block real quick, just a normal block for now, and then we don't want to get the red base plate quite yet, so then we have a place to set our blocks. So first, we actually want a spawn point, but later the checkpoint will override the spawn point. Okay. So then once we have that, we just want to place this right here. Let's just make this a nice uh, purple. And then let's put the move on five studs. And I th okay, so that's about ten studs. So let's just put a bunch of those for a simple, nice starter hobby. Now let's put... um. A stage where you have to guess which plank you should walk on. So, my obby, act the style is actually going to be rainbow. Let me just lock the base plate real quick. If you lock something, then you can't move it without unlocking it. So, let me just make this part red. This part blue. This part yellow. And that part can stay purple, and then this part green, and this part red. Now we are going to be making a guess the which plank you should walk on type thing. So now let me just duplicate this. Now we are going to make one of them un can collide it so then you can't interact with it. Just setting my scale. I use 0 0.1 a lot because it's one of the best scaling sizes. So I'm just gonna theme color this blue, and that's looking good so far. Now let's move that over here. Click F to focus if you're on Mac. And then, so now people have to walk through this one if they want to get past. Let's just anchor everything real quick. And then, let's just put a bunch more of those. And then obviously we're going to want to change it. Like, which one has can collide on? Okay, now we want to put can collide on this one and then turn can collide off on that one. Now I'm going to make a sphere jump. Hit command D to duplicate if you're on map. Now just keep duplicating that. And now I'm actually going to test real quick. Hope it looks like that was not anchored, so let's just hope we don't die. Okay, that's good so far. It's a nice, easy start. Okay, it looks like this is working, but if you step on the wrong one, you're done for. Okay, so I'm just showing you how to do everything like uncan collide things and stuff like that. So now I'm going to show you to do one more stage and then you're good to do th uh, things by yourself. So we're going to make this one we're going to use the transparent property. Just get on scale. Let's make this 0.5 and then Command D. And then let's make this one transparency one. Oh, that makes it completely transparent. Command D. And then duplicate that again. You can also hit the 
duplicate button up here. And then, okay, so now it's actually going on with this one is that whichever, uh, whichever ones are transparent, you're going to be able to walk through. So you're, so you can't go through, um, so if we had this one transparent, like 0.5, then, unless I can't quite that, then you won't be able to walk through that one. And then you can also have this one to where it's hard to jump to from there. So let's just make that point the rest of our obby. So let's just actually just grab it everything. Once you click on one part in the explorer, you can hit shift, then you can click another part and just hit anchor like this. And then let's try clicking play again. Okay now we're all loaded up. So let's just jump across this. And then we want to make it we don't want to fall through. It looks like I failed that time. Now I just gotta make it to this one. Okay, now I'm gonna be able to make it to this one, this one, and this one. But if I fall off of one of them like this, then I would for sure really die. Anyways, thanks for watching. I will have another video out soon. Please subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.